lovely peacocks today. So two totally different designs um, for you to take a look at. So um, the junior one is, um, it's really quite classic and realistic peacock head and we're using watercolour paint. And the senior one is, is very designy and we're using watercolour pencils. So you could have a go at both. It isn't necessarily a kind of junior, senior one in a traditional sense of one being much easier than the other. It's really not actually. I think, um, I think you'll possibly enjoy having a go at both. So let's make a start. So the drawing that we've got here today of our peacock is really different from what we did with the junior and I'm hoping lots of people do them both actually. We went for quite a simple drawing with the junior which looked very sophisticated but here it's like a pattern and I've really explored how peacocks have been used in things like um, wallpaper and cushions and decorations and that's the kind of thing I've really aimed for here to go for this sort of patterned look. Um, but we'll break it down into simple steps. I know it looks slightly crazily complicated there, but I want you to, as, as you're doing it with me, if you think, oh, actually, I'm going to add this or I'm going to change that, go for it. I really would love everybody to be doing that. So we're going to start with um, just a smack bang in the middle. So I put a little mark to show where the centre is. Go up to just below the middle there, and I want you to just start with this kind of egg shape here. This is just going to help us to form our pattern really light because we're going to rub this out actually but so if we start with that there and then just come in underneath it and we've got another egg shape here you're going to see a lot of these little shapes right throughout it that's actually going to be our peacock's head there so maybe it's slightly bigger but it's still pretty small underneath it we've got two lines joined by a line and then we're going to take those lines out that's going to form the peacock's body so there are basic shapes. And then what we're gonna do is come up here. And we're gonna put a little line there. And then it's like, it's gonna look at this stage like teaspoons. So it's the oval on top. And then we're gonna come in at the bottom, just coming up from the bottom, we're gonna put two sticking out there. And then again, our sort of teaspoony spoon shape there, one. And the same there too. Now in between there and there, on each side, I want you to put four. One, two, three, four, exactly the same on that side. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna put these big spoon shapes. So maybe make that one slightly bigger because on some of these, we want them to actually be starting to almost join together like that. You can see I'm keeping my lines very sort of loose and relaxed. Same here, one, two, three, four. So that is our first set of shapes and we're just going to pause it there and get in your what will become your peacock and these looking like spoons coming out of it. So I'm going to start here with the peacock's head and I actually think I've possibly made mine slightly too narrow but we're going to rub those central bits out anyway so I might come back in and just go a little bit bigger with it. We've got that shape and then what we're going to do is have it so it's coming down like that. Where we went quite straight, you can just loosen it out a little bit like that. And we're going to come in and put on each side a line down and a line down, which should be that more there. And then two eyes, one, two on each side. And then if we take that up in a V and then bring the beak down. We've got that there. Now here on either side of it, on this beginning pattern that we're going to put in, all I want you to do is to go like this. I'm going to put it in really lightly. I'm going to do that on both sides. 
and then this end behind. And then again, just keep building it up until we've filled what is this shape here. We're having these as if they're these magnificent feathers coming out and round. So that's that bit here. And then in the next stage, what I want you to do is thinking of these, because these are going to be like the first set of feathers, but then, you know, the peacock's tail, which comes right out. What if we go up to the top here and take it out like that, and then in, from the top of the middle of that one there, and we're, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take them out from the top and middle of each one. We'll do the same here. So I'm going to go up. Up. There. And then if, you, if you've if you still got space there and you page, you can take it again. And we'll just do that bit again. Just a couple of little lines on each thing. And that is the second stage. So if you pause there, oh, one last thing, actually, just here at the top of his head, he always has this crown. I'm going to go quite dark on this because I really want it to show up. I'm just putting a few little lines with dots at the top like that. So we're actually pretty much done. And I, I've just got a scrap of paper here because I want to show you what we're going to put on the inside of each of these. All in Peacock's Feathers, what they have is it's like an eye. And on all of them, if you think we're going to split it up, we're going to do a circle surrounded by another circle. And then we're going to do an oval and that. So what looks incredibly complicated actually just becomes circle, circle, oval, and then an oval with a tip. Circle, teardrop. teardrop. Thank you, Elizabeth. Circle, oval, teardrop. Now, I'm not going to have Elizabeth st standing here filming me do this 35 times. As you can tell, I've already done it today. But what we'll do is you can pause and start putting in the patterns. And then when you come back to rejoin me and we will um, be talking about painting it or colouring it, um, I'll have all mine done then as well. So if you pause now, oh, I'll just show you here on these big ones, what we're going to do is just do exactly the same thing. Circle, circle, oval, teardrop, circle, circle, oval, teardrop. So every single thing is going to have exactly the same pattern in it, circle, oval, teardrop, all the way around. So I'm going to do this with my watercolour pencils. Now, if, if you've got felt tips or crayons or whatever, you um, absolutely fill your boots and decorate this in your own way. But I'm just going to show you a couple of techniques using uh, watercolour pencils um, as an idea for this. So what I'm going to do, I've really played around this with this for ages to try to find a way that's going to make it work. And this, this, is, my, this is my method here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each one of these and in the centre I'm going to use a dark blue. And then I'm going to put a light blue around it like that. Then I'm not going to colour this. I'm just going to go like that with some yellow. So we've got dark blue, light blue, yellow. Then around that, so that was the circle, circle, semicircle. Then we've got that teardrop, haven't we? So the teardrop I'm going to do in purple. And then the edge, which would be what is like the spoon, I'm going to come back and use another blue. And then when I do that all together, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see, I'm going to do the yellow first because that's the lightest, yellow. And then I'll start to bring in these. And because there's a bit of yellow on my brush, can you see how they all merge in together? Then I'll go outside, I'll bring in the pale blue. 
and then the purple. But look how it all is starting to merge in together. And that's what I want. I want that effect of the merging in. So I'll just do this once more on here, but you can imagine if, if we sat down and, you, and Elizabeth was filming me do all of these, we would be here probably till next Friday. So I'm gonna go here, I'll do it on this. I'll, actually, I'll do it on this one, which is bigger. So we've got dark blue in the middle. Light blue round. I'm putting quite a fair bit of pigment on there. In this bit, I'm just going like that, putting the pigment down around the edges. I'm not touching my blue though. Same for my purple. I'm going to go around the edges, but I'm not going to touch my blue. And then this bit I'm going to do in the blue. There. And I'm going to go right round. If I take my brush, I'm going to start. Remember, I started with the yellow because that's the weakest colour and already it's bringing the blues in. Can you see that? Then I'll turn the blue and that blue. And because there's yellow on my brush, it's making it slightly greenish, which I'm happy with. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the edge. And the purple's already starting to come in. I'll let the purple go there. I'm going to do this with each one. So this is, I feel like this is rainy day painting. You know, when you really just want to enjoy the feeling of sitting down and being creative. That's what this one's going to be. I'm putting a fair bit of water on my brush there. And that's one of my feathers done. And I'm going to pause now and I'm going to come back when they're all done. So you can see I've, I've come in and I've put in these bits and I've taken my brush and really made it all, I wanted it all to sort of wash into each other. And then I hear I've come in, these bits there were just done with the dark blue. And I've just put the dark blue on quite hard in these bits here. Basically anything that wasn't surrounded has got a nice dark blue bit in there, like that. And I've come in and done the same, any extra bits up here so just to show you how I've done this on each one I've gone I've taken my wet brush started off on the yellow it's always the weakest color then I've brought in the blues then I've taken my brush you can see it's got the blue paint on already from the center and look how it's all washing into each other I've taken the blue all the way around and then pulled in the purple and I've wanted it all to sort of mix with each other so it's all nice and soft and I've done that on each one. So I'm not going to do that now, but then I've come here and I've turned this one super dark there. And what I'll do is, I'm not going to do that all now. I'll, I'll finish all that um, off, but I want to show you how we're going to do this center bit of the peacock here. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to go round there very, using some, really putting the pigment down. You can see how I'm going quite hard there and in the center I'm going to pop a bit of purple continue this purple theme here and what I'm going to do on these bits to remember that we put around I'm just going to I'm actually going to go quite lightly just over them just putting the pattern in like that I'll just do it on one side to show you how that's going to look and here's the difference between how I'm gonna paint it. Right, I've got plenty of water on that brush here. And all I'm gonna do is go like that there. So it's very gentle, can you see? Very soft and gentle, I'll take it behind there, like that. But as soon as I touch the brush to this bit here, because I've got so much more paint pigment on, this is gonna be much darker. And the same here at the top, much, much darker. And as I come into here, you can see I'll turn the purple, but I'll have it so that it just fits in there with that. And I'll just leave that to dry and finish off the other side. So you can see I've, I've done it so that it's all very wet. I wanted it to feel like it's just all very loose. But here I'm going to finish it off with some really strong hard lines using my black watercolour pencil. I'm going to put in the beak, the eyes, and then the crown here with those dots on the top. And just round there, I'm gonna go round with the black as well so it really stands out, this bit. 
And that, that is our finished piece of peacock. So have a go at it. Change the colours. Maybe you could even do like an NHS peacock. Do the whole thing as a rainbow and create your own amazing design. Hope you really enjoyed that. Don't know about you, um, it took me hours. So if if you fancy doing, having a go at another one, have, have take a look at the juniors and maybe have a go at that as well. And maybe later in the week if you've already spent three hours drawing and painting today. But I really, really, really want to see your designs. I want to see what you've come up with and how you've made it different. So please do uh, make sure that you get uh, someone to take a picture and put it in on the comments on our Facebook, our Instagram or our Twitter. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Always like to have something on Wednesday uh, that's a little bit different. And tomorrow we've got three lego superheroes for you we've got i think it's batman superman spider-man see you tomorrow